It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. The wonderful Neil Long has been on holiday again to Malta and he's brought us back Malta's craft brewed beer. This is Lord Chambry Brewery and this is their Revival Rye IPA. It's a 7% ABV beer for their seventh anniversary. Wonderful looking stuff. Long time supporter of the channel. Whenever I try a Lord Chambry beer, and the only reason I've tried Lord Chambry beers in the past is because of Neil Long. Whenever he goes on holiday there, he brings us a beer back. Looks like they've tried, slightly changed their branding a little bit with the, the bottle cap there and the way the beers look. 330 milliliter brown glass bottle. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Really, really excited for this one. Really excited. A Rye IPA. Good bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at this. I love the colour of rye, especially in a beer. That kind of deep... Oh, look at that. What a beautiful looking beer in the glass. Lovely, deep, orange, amber colour. Nice and hazy. Good levels of carbonation. Two finger, slightly off white head. That is looking fabulous. You can see that 7% in the beer as you rock the beer back and forth. You can see the body in the beer. There's a slight lag as, you, as you're rocking it. It's... It's not like water, which would be very kind of, of course, watery. This is, this is, this is a beer at seven percent with lots of malt in. Looks cracking. Let's get the aroma. Another reason why I like rye in the beer is it, it, it adds that kind of natural, slightly earthy spiciness to it. Like peppery notes coming through to go along with that massive hop profile, that beautiful. It's like marmalade on rye, marmalade, orange marmalade jam. Mmm, lemony, marmalade. -y. Just incredible, incredible nose on this one. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. First thing I, I'm picking up here is a little bit of sweetness. The first taste was Sweetness in the beer, followed by pepperiness and spice. Almost like ag aggressive, almost like aggressive flavours from the rye. It's a cracker, it's a real cracker. The body of the beer is terrific. <clears throat> it's got a sticky body to it. A slight licorice flavour. Again, probably that's that rye. I, I keep talking about the rye, but it's, it's the combination really of the rye and the hops. I really need to emphasise this. It's not just the rye. When you add rye in a hoppy IPA, they clash. They're meant to clash, There's, the flavours are supposed to clash. They're banging into each other and, and they're picking up sweetness and pepperiness and spiciness and earthiness. And then the hops are trying to say, hey, what about me over here? So you're picking up your, your marmalades and your, your slight lemon flavours and your orange peels coming through. A real... 
this is a beer for, for, for people who really, really... And this might sound... Um, generic, like a generic comment, but this is for beer that people who, who like to taste things, who, who like to taste their beers, lots of flavour in their beers and lots of complexity in their beers. Not just a generic comment of, oh, this beer has been brewed for, you know, hipsters or whatnot, but, but actual, not just hipsters, but people who really, really want to, to, to get loads of flavour in their life, really, in their life, on their palate, uh, from the beer. At this point, it almost sounds like I'm waffling. I promise you I'm not. I'm just in the moment with this beer. Look now, now I've drunk some of the beer down. Look at, look at the... Look at the way that beer's behaving in the glass. Didn't that look tremendous? Absolutely tremendous. That spiciness and sweetness clashing. Ready, doughy, multi flavours coming through, mixed with that marmalade. It's just wonderful. And this is this is brewed in Malta. This, this brewery is based in Malta, where I mean they've been open. They've been open seven years as a brewery. I'd like to. I'd like to think that. Everybody from tourists to the local Maltese people are getting involved with this brewery and supporting this brewery and drinking in their tap room and just generally enjoying themselves as as we we all should in the in the craft beer world. So uh, this beer is a celebration to our seventh birthday. Pale ale, red X, and wheat malts are blended together with a spicy rye malt to give the perfect backbone for five hop varieties: Amarillo, Simcoe, Mosaic, Cascade, and Citra. A generous dry hopping provides a refreshing blast of pine and citrus. Yeah, it's a beautiful beer at seven percent ABV, and I am about ready to rate it. If ever I go to Malta, I nearly went on a honeymoon with my wife. Uh, well, she wasn't my wife that. Yeah, we would have been just married, yeah. 14, 15 years ago. We, we nearly went to Malta on our honeymoon. Um, they wouldn't have been about down this brewery, but maybe we go back or we go go to Malta on holiday and, uh, and go visit the brewery. Rating. Looks good. Great lacing, great look to the beer. Look at that. I'm going to do that one more time for you. Look at the quality of that beer. Great look, great aroma, great taste. There's something very, very special about rye IPAs. They just work for my palate. They just, I like the balance of the malt. I like the fact that it's not just about those wonderful hops, the Simcoe, the Mosaic, the Amarillo, the Cascade, the Citra. Yes, they play a big part, but so does the rye. So does the rye, it really does. I like that beer, not even a stone the crows, 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.